My pub. Sabrina. My friends. What will they become without me? If only I could tell her. Tell them. Too late. Too late. Evening, Doctor. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for Tom Watts. I loved him. He tried to be a good man. But I hate him for his bad judgement. You really hate Tom Watts? Of course not. But there are evil people in this world and they deserve nothing more than a noose around their neck. Well, I can't speak for Watts, but I imagine he'd disagree. Yeah, and the stupid bastard's dead. Dead because someone else didn't share his point of view. What's your next move? Do you think you'll be able to keep this place open? I'm thinking about selling the bar and getting out of here. Why stay then? It took Tom years to make this bar a safe place. I feel guilty throwing that away, but... I'm so afraid now I'm alone here. Don't blame yourself. Anyone in this position would be afraid. Tom was never afraid. Don't have his strength. I could try, maybe. Did you honestly expect Watts to give you the turquoise turtle? Not at all. It's such a gift. And a burden. What do you mean? Well, to go from a nobody to the owner of the most well-known drinking hole on the docks. Thanks to Tom Watts. That ain't easy. Mr. Watts believed in you. I'm sure he was convinced you would be the only one able to manage the bar after he'd left us. Yeah. Well, he also believed he could live here safely. How are things around here? Not great. People talk more about Tom's murderer than helping see that he's arrested. Gossip's harmless enough. People will always talk. They're just expressing their concerns in the only way they know. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see a little more action and less conversation. You mean that no one will investigate Mr. Watt's death? Of course they won't. It's just another body in the morning. Rumours are saying Tom was killed by one of our customers. Makes me sick. I don't fear you. You did not defeat me. I was Sabrina Cavendish. I did not surrender. I hope you're here for a drink, Doctor. I'm not in a talkative mood. You seem to be taking Sabrina's death badly. Oh, in many ways, she made this place what it is. She was so much more to me than just the waitress. It's my fault she's dead. I'm sure she knew the risk she was taking working here, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Sabrina and I... I, I mean, we never... We, things have been different. You know, we had a lot in common. She wanted a different path. Which path? I know what it's like to hate. It was worrying to see her hold in such anger. I thought it gave her the strength she needed. You really think you know the murderer? I can't give a name, but I have leads. One of them has to be the killer. You could be wrong. So what? Sabrina is dead. Someone must have seen something, but nobody will talk. That's how it's always been, but I think it's time for a change. Why are you blaming yourself for her death? I tried so hard to convince her that no one would dare to touch her if she worked in my pub. That was another lie, of course. Something as trivial as that doesn't make you responsible for her death. Perhaps. If I'd not made her feel safe, if I'd warned her, she would have been wary. Would you be willing to talk about your customers? On any other night, I would have said no, Dr. Reed. But tonight, I think it's time someone hears what these arseholes are capable of. I want you to tell me everything you know about Booth Digby. He's a spineless rat who wouldn't spill any blood if it weren't for Ed Weiner's influence. She is the rotten brain of that couple. Do you know anything about Giselle Paxton? Ha, <laughs> the Winnie Giselle. Believe me, her being fired from the factory had much more to do with her love of the bottle than her political beliefs. What do you know about Martin Nightingale? That little crook's only bravery has been to refuse to join the gangs. That does not make him an honest man. He's just another two-faced cheater. You must have something to share on Dyson Delaney. 
He appears to be your best customer. Yeah, a few years ago, Dyson was so drunk he fell in the canal nearby. Yeah, lucky for him, Sean Empton dived in the filthy waters to save him before offering him a bed in his night asylum. I can't think of anyone whose secrets might interest me. Why keep the pub open? After what happened, it's obvious this place is unsafe. My big dream of a neutral ground really was just that. Stupid dream. This place is just another stinking, piss-stained joint. Don't be too harsh on yourself. My waitress was murdered nearby. Oh, I've been so stupid. Nothing will ever change. There's too much filth and scum that washes up here.